So to start off, I've already put a layer of MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation in NC30 all over my face. This foundation tends to be a little bit yellow toned, which is perfect for this look. And I've already put in circle lenses. I'll write what exactly these lenses are. Um, I also chose them because they're a little bit yellow toned and lines have those bright amber eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is contour my face. Lions have a lot of depth in different areas of their face because of the fur and I want to mimic that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Graftobian HD Glamour Cream Super Palette in Warm. It has a lot of various shades of warm colors that'll be really perfect for this look. And I'm going to start off doing the darker colors. And you don't have to start with the dark, you can do the lights if you want, but I wanted to do more of the lighter ones as a layer on top. And the dark is just going to add some shadowy depth to start off of. I'm going to use this shade down here, it's one of the darkest ones. I don't want to do too dark because I don't want it to look ashy, but I want it to be really a warm brown color. And you don't have to use this foundation palette, you can use any shade of foundation or even bronzer, some kind of contouring color that you can use to create some depth. I'm going to just take my angled brush, I'm going to start off by the nose. This sort of flat area is going to be a little bit darker. And I'm also going to add around the outside of my whole face. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this out. I went back with my original foundation brush and I'm just blending that into the colors that I'm already wearing. For the area around the nose, you really want to keep this middle streak clean and then blend out from the middle. I'm also going to take a little bit of the color and just go down the middle here and just blend that out. So the second step is to go in with the lighter colors. So I'm going back to my palette. I'm going to choose the lightest color right up here. And you can also use a light colored concealer for this part as well. Just make sure it's quite a few shades lighter than your actual skin tone. For this part, I'm actually going to take an eyeshadow brush. It's just an angled fluffy shadow brush because I want this part to be a little bit more defined. So right here in, on the inside of the eyes, they have it light. They also have quite a bit of lightness underneath their eyes right here. And then going across underneath the eye. Which we're actually going to layer that with some eyeshadow in a little bit. So it'll be even more defined. They have little knobs right here at the front of their eyebrows. And then there's also a light area on the top of the nose and around the mouth. For the mouth, I'm going to do a round shape on either side and then I'm going to blend it upward. I'm just using my fingertips to blend in the foundations. The warmth of your fingers will really help the colors to blend together in a nice natural way. Alright, so the next step I'm going to do is color in the black areas on the lion's face. And the main parts that that happens is around the nose and mouth area and around the eyes. You can use any black gel liner. I really like MAC Fluid Line and I also like this one that I'm using. It's called the All-in-One Gel Liner from Leo Welly. And I'll put the link in the info box for where you can purchase this. I'm going to start off with the nose because I think that's sort of one of the more iconic parts about any cat look that you're going for. So I'm going to do a little upside down triangle shape on the nose and what you're going to do is you're going to use your natural nostril shape to sort of work with the look. Make a little mark on either side 
of where the points of the nose are going to be. If you make a line down the middle, all you have to do is connect it on either side. And then on the tip of your nose, make a little V shape. And then you can sort of like connect the corners. Now at the bottom, join this so that it goes down into a point. And pull that line all the way down to your lip. I'm also going to go on the sides and angle the points of the nose up a little bit. Next I'm going to use the eyeliner on my eyes. Make a line from about here and a straight line down toward the front of my eyes here. So let me put a little dot here. I'm going to go through there and then to a point right about there. And then take this line and then join it with the outer corner of your eye here. And just fill that whole area in. For the bottom, pull that line back in near the front of my eye, where my eye dips down a little bit right in that inner corner. And then I'm just going to line all the way across my eye. Alright, now that I'm done setting down all of the black areas, I'm just going to dust over my whole face using MAC Blot Powder. Just so nothing moves around, I'm tapping it in. So the next step I'm going to do is blend eyeshadow into the liner that I've already created. So what I'm going to do is take my Urban Decay Naked palette, I'm going to use this really dark brown color right here, which is Dark Horse, and I'm using a Sedona Lace like pencil brush. It's very small, so it's good for people who have smaller eyes, or if you want to do more detailed contouring work on your eyes. And I'm just going to take the top line of the liner that I created and make it a little bit softer and add a little bit more depth to it. So I'm going to follow that line, but I'm also going to wing it a little bit at the edge. I'm just going to blend that shape in a little bit. So that it's really soft. I'm also going to take my highlight color. I'm using Virgin. I'm going to add that underneath the brow bone. just blend it down. Now I'm also going to take that light shape and define the area right on the inside of the liner. Also take it underneath the liner in the front and do the same thing. This is going to make that liner really really pop. Now I'm going to add lashes. I'm using these very full, slightly tapered lashes from Kiwi Berry 01. I'll add a link down there. I'm snipping off the little corners. I'm using the Duo Dark Tone Waterproof Lash Glue. Now I'm going to curl my lashes to combine the falsies with my natural lashes. And I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm using Fairy Drops Mascara. Now I'm actually going to take a cream blush to fill in the nose. This is Glow by NYX. And I'm just going to use a little angled 
eyeliner brush. If you're going to be using this tutorial modified to do just like a regular cat look, that would also be appropriate. You could also use red or just a tan color if you wanted. Now with the cream, one thing you can do is blend the edges of that black color in. I have this contouring palette from Pretty and Cute. I'm just going to use this really, really white color. I'm just going to dab that into the light areas. Use that to set my nose as well. And really get this area around my mouth light again. And I'm also going to use this darker color right here, that tannish one, and go over some of the areas that I need to be a little bit darker. You can also contour right underneath the cheeks right here. Now we're getting a lot closer to being done. You can really see the cat look start to come out. So I'm just going to do a little bit of detailing now. Take this Clinique gel liner. This is number four deep brown. And just take a little pointed eyeliner brush like that. And instead of having actual like whiskers, which I think can look kind of, I don't know, fake, cheesy, I'm going to do little dots starting next to your nose and they're just going to angle up, but I'm not going to go too far out. I'm just really staying in this light area right here. Now I'm just taking a little bit of eyeshadow and I'm blending out the sort of the area in between. You should be able to see sort of like faint lines. They don't have to be too dramatic though. Looks like a little cat mustache. Alright, now for my lips, I'm going to nude out the color of my lips using this NYX lipstick in Circe. C-I-R-C-E, -E. I'm not really sure exactly how you pronounce that. I'm taking that on my finger and just dabbing it on my lips. And just to add a little bit more color, I'm taking this hot pink. This is NYX Fusion Lipstick. It's sort of like a purpley magenta even. I'm just taking a little bit of that and I'm going to add it to the middle of the bottom lip only. See, it gives it just a little bit of a stained look. Now I am going to just brush out my eyebrows. I'm not gonna add any color because, I mean, lions usually have the same color eyebrows as the rest of their hair. So they really don't need to be very dark. And this is the final look. So this is the final look with my lion costume on. And I have little ears for this and little paws. Um, this actually goes backwards, the arm warmers, but I'm wearing them opposite because I like the little puff by the hands. <laughs> and then it comes with this dress with a little tail in the back and little leg warmers. <laughs> it's kind of adorable. I love this costume. Um, so I got this costume from Now Discount Shoes. Dot com, which I'll link down here if you want to buy the same outfit. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more pictures and more information, please visit www.fromheadtotoe.com and follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. That's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe, F-R-M-H-E-A-D-T-O-T-O-E. This is Jen, and I will have more Halloween tutorials, so stay tuned, and I will see you guys soon. Him, 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 him. Him, 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 him.